Welcome back to Library Trace YouTube channel. In today's class, we learn how to make this beautiful petal sleeve. So, we made this using scuba fabric and it's very simple to make. If this is what you like to learn. Kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so for this sleeve now, remember it is in different layers. So, we're going to be using three different layers for this. And then we're going to be cutting out our leaf pattern. So I'm going to just I'm going to be using this paper to create the leaf pattern. Then we're going to be transferring it to our fabric. So for the first one, which is the longest one, the length that I want to use for this is six inches. So I'm going to put in my paper on fold, and then I'm going to measure my length measurement, which is six inches. So this is six inches here. Then I can make this into a straight line for reference purpose. So it is not static, you can use 7, you can use 8, depending on what you wish to use. So now after measuring these 6 inches in, on the hemline here, I'm going to be measuring half inch or 1 inch. There are several ways you can do this. I'm going to be teaching us several ways also how I'm going to be creating this. So if I measure half inch here, the next thing now is to connect in an over shape from here all the way to my starting point here. So now I'm going to be using my curved driller so if you have a curved driller you can use it if you don't have a curved driller you can use your free hand so from here now i'm just going to be connecting all the way to this apex point you can see what i have here now and then i'm going to take my scissors and cut this shape out okay so this is the shape that i have for my first petal and you can see what this is looking like so like i said you can actually do this in a way that your base is going to be flat like this or you can decide to do it in an over shape so what i mean by this is instead of just going half by half inch remember this half inch when you open it up it's going to be one inch you can just connect it like this all the way back to the m line so that you're going to be having something round or over which i think is what i'll be using for this tutorial so if i do that now i have something like this so this is going to be my first petal so the second petal is going to be smaller than this remember we use six inches for this so for the second petal i'll be deducting two inches and then i'll use four inches for it so this is going to be four inches and just like i did for the first one i'm going to connect this here you can go inwards by half an inch also then you take your curve now and then you connect from that point all the way to your starting point okay i hope you understand that if you do not have a curve that can take it you can use your free hand also it's not compulsory for you to use the curve so from there now i'm going to be connecting it to the starting point and then using my scissors i'm going to be cutting this out so cutting this out now, I have this and then I'm going to open it up and if I place it, you can see the difference that I have in this and this. So for the third layer, you can maintain this template or you just reduce it by half an inch or one inch, but I will also be maintaining this. So I'll be using the same measurements for my second and my third, but the first one is going to be the larger petal. So now I take this to my fabric now, I'll cut out my petals. Then bring it back to show you. So for each of the layers, I'm going to be cutting six petals. So I'll cut six of these big petals for the first layer, six of these for the second layer, and six of these for the third layer. So I'll do that now and bring it back to show us. Okay, so these are the three layers. As you can see, that is the largest one, and those are the two smaller layers. So now we'll start to attach them, and I'll be doing this using my thread and needle. So to do this, I'll be starting with the biggest layer. Okay, so I'll pick one of these now and I'll show us how I'm going to be attaching it. Okay, so I have one of these. You just pick it in the middle like this and then you fold the sides, the two sides towards it like this. I hope you understand what I'm saying. You pick it in the middle and then you pick it in the middle like this and then you bend it. You can see the way I bend the first one and then you bend the second one towards the side like that also. You can see how it's forming and it's just upward like that, like a leaf. And then you take your thread and needle and use it to hold it together. So your thread that your needle must pass through the thinly folding that you have there for you to hold them together. So that's the first one held. So the same way I'm just trying to secure 
the leaf that's why i'm sewing it backwards like that so once you're sure that you've secured it like this you pick another one and the same way we did for the first one okay you pick it at the middle and then you bend the sides like that then you you connect it to the second one using your thread and needle just like we did for the first one so you can use a smaller thread so that it will be easy for you to control so you just sew it you pass your needle like that and then bring out your thread and then you ask you try to arrange it very well as you go okay so now we've done two now i'm going to secure it very well just like i did for the first one and then i'm going to pick another one so that's the third one and the same way i did for the first one pick it fold it on the sides i'm going to attach that also to it so that is how i'm going to you can see what we have now we have three and you can see what it has formed for us so that's how i'm going to attach the six to it so when i finish attaching the first layer i'll bring it back for us to continue okay so i've passed the sixth one now so i'm just going to connect it to the first one so that they can join together okay so that's the so i'm passing my thread through the first one and then it's going to take everything together for me so i have my six petals together now and then using my needle and thread i'm going to secure it so that it can stay in place before i pass okay so you can see i'm passing the needle and thread just to hold it in place okay so now i'm going to be bringing in the second layer so for the second layer, you can see the way I'm folding it. I'm just taking a pleat like that. So you can see it. So I'm pleating it and then I'm going to be placing it on top of the first layer. So before that, I want to hold it with my needle and thread. I'm holding the pleat together and then I'm placing it on top of the first layer like that. Then I'll pin it, sew it down to hold it for me. So you can see that it's directly on top of the second one. And we have six petals also for the second layer. So each petal is going to sit directly on top of the bigger ones as we can see. And then we're going to be using our needle and thread to sew it so that it can hold it in place for us. So you should use a matching color of thread for this so that your sewing is not going to show so now I've, i'm done with the first one now i'll pick the second one i'll pleat it just the way i pleated the first one also and then i'll take my needle and thread and then i'll use it to hold my pleats together and i'll place it on top of the larger one and then just sew it down to hold it in place for me so as you are sewing it you'll be using your hands to arrange it well and i'm using scuba fabric by the way so scuba fabric does not need lining so i just used my picking shear scissors also known as zigzag scissors to cut it that is why you have the edges looking like a zigzag pattern like that so if you are using a fabric like doll face you may need to cut out each of your petals or if your leaf petals and line it first before you start arranging it like that but because i'm using a scuba fabric i don't need a lining for it so i'm just sewing it directly like that so for the second layer now the same way we are taking a pleat that is how i'm going to take a pleat and then i'm going to place it directly on this first one and then sew it around for the six petals so after doing that now i'll bring it back for us to continue with the third layer okay so you can see what we have now I've arranged the two petals on each other. So now we're going for the third layer. And the same way I did my pleats for the second layer. Okay, you can see the only difference is the pleats of the first layer. So the pleats of the second and third layer is the same. So the same way I'm pleating the second layer, I'm going to be passing my needle and thread to it. And then I'm going to be tacking it down on the second layer. So that's the third layer now on top of the second layer. You can see i'm just tacking it just like i'm sewing it and then i'll bring it back then i'll tack it a few times just to secure it so after tacking the first one 
I'll go over to the second one also. So I'll be tacking the third layer now on top of the second layer before we create our rows. So you can see, so it is on it. You can see it's directly sitting on it. So I'm going to pick the second one again. I'm going to pleat it like that and then I'll put it on top of the second layer. So you can see I'm passing my thread and then I'm going to arrange it in a way that it's going to sit inside the second layer. You can see how it is sitting inside it. And then I'm going to be tacking it down. Just for it to hold it in place for me. So that way also I'm going to be tacking the six petals around it. And the six petal is going to be sitting on top of the second layer. Just like that. Then I'll bring it back to show us how we are going to be creating the rose. Okay, so as you can see the third layer i've also been placed on it so now you can leave it like this actually on three layers but i want to add a root on top of it so now to add my roots let me just bring it up so that we can see okay so this is what this is looking like now you can leave it as it is but i want to add the roots to this so for the roots i took a measure i did my roots i used the measurements of three inches for the length of my roots as you can see so this is three inches it's quite shorter than the rest and to do this now i i cut out six of this also and then i'll be placing it like this so the first one is this so the second one i'll be placing it on that edge where the first one started you can see it then i'll hold it with my hand then i'll pick it another one then i'll place it on that same edge then i'll be spreading it out you can see the way i'm spreading it out so i'll keep placing it on that edge and spread out till i place the six petals then i'm going to hold it with my needle and thread first before i roll it Okay, you can see the way i'm pressing it on that point so once i have my six petals like that i'm going to first hold it with needle and thread so that it doesn't move before i roll it so i'm passing my needle and thread now to secure it like that okay so after so now i'm going to be folding the first one over each other like this then i'm going to place this on it also and then i'll keep rolling it in a circular form to form like a rose petal so you can see i'm rolling this now and i have this okay so you just use your hand to spread it out if you are okay with what you have you just tack where you are holding with your hand you tack it with your needle and thread and then you place it at the center of your fruit so you can see how it is sitting at the center of my petal like that so that is how you attach it so i'm going to attach this now and then i'll show us what this is looking like okay so now this is what we have you can see how this is looking so let me just reduce the lighting so that i can see it better okay so this is what the petal is looking like now and you can see that it is neatly tacked so now to add this to your sleeve you can actually add this to anywhere you can add it on your chest area you can add it to your waistline like a bow so we'll be adding this to a sleeve so you should have like a tiny off shoulder sleeve now on your bodies as a broad as a basic sleeve so now i'm just going to place it remember i've not removed my needle and thread and this is what it looks like on the down part so i'm just going to place it on my sleeve now and then i'm going to tack it down so after tacking this i'll take it to the mannequin so that i will see what we have so this is what our sleeve is looking like now these are the layers that we placed on each other the three layers and this is the last rose that we put so you can see it's very simple to make i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye